Hey everybody, welcome to another round of Judgment deck building slash gameplay. I'm gonna just go ahead and hop into uh, Judgment Duder and use some gold to play Judgment. Dun dun dun. Okay. Oh wow. Um, well, first thing we do is look down here and we see a Berserker. Faith Blessing, Faith Duty. Meyer Shambler. Hmm. Interesting. Um, Berserker, I think, is our best pick. Um, here. Not a ton of options. I'm thinking either Eternal Statue or Sandpack Memorial. And then up here, another Berserker is probably our best bet. Um, Ducal Spearman would probably be our second pick, but with Double Berserker, we're going to probably be heavy growth but we'll see we'll keep it flexible so we take a, a third berserker i don't know three i guess that's good uh, that keeps us in growth i guess so at this point uh this is an interesting so our line right now is berserker berserker and then here's our pick um at this point it's a kind of interesting now eternal statue is the more flexible pick where Sandpack Memorial is the more focused pick. My f my feeling is that if we go Berserker, Berserker, it'll be hard to get into a second color. But, I mean, we st we're still planning on a second color. We don't, I don't think we're going to get as lucky to get Mono Growth again like we did last time. Um, so if that's the case, then this sort of pushes, uh, pushes us towards energy, kind of, because it, it helps our helps fix our resources. Um, I think Eternal Statue is the better scroll, though, and it lets us stay flexible in the long run. So we'll, I think we take Eternal Statue because we just don't know where we're at, and this is sort of a, a very specific kind of pick. Okay, uh, Sister of the Fox would be good. Rot Ear would also be good if we're looking at a third color, or sorry, a second color. Um, but I think we go Berserker and then Peak. So we go Berserker, take our peak. An Aging Knight isn't terrible. A Death Cap Berserker is okay. And then a tip, Tick Bomb is actually good. And then a Pest Assimilator uh, could, could be good as well. Um, we definitely go Berserker here, though. I think that's pretty much, pretty much our best bet. Three Berserkers. I think we're pretty solidly in growth. Let's see. I still think I still think Sister of the Fox is good, but I really like Rot Eater. It's just so hard to deal with when it gets big, um, and we kind of have a nice line of that would be a, Life Stealer would be a little greedy, I think, at this point. Um, Darkling might be fine because Darkling's nice at dealing the last couple points of damage, and then Vitriol Aura isn't terrible. It's not great though, um, but we do have Double Tick Bomb. Yeah. Eh. I think that's a little early for that. So our line could either be Sister of the Fox and just try and stay mono growth or sort of try and face the facts that we're probably, we could pick up some good decay um, and make it so that we have, have a, a decent second color. I think we're still early enough. We're still on our, this is our fifth pick. So um, I'm going to, take the sister of the fox because just because it is a body and it replaces itself so i'm not super sad oh man but tough tough decision here yeah i think we we definitely have beefy dudes and three berserkers so uh we'll take the sister of the fox that's on point well, maybe we will get lucky and get mono growth but uh, yeah, a kinfolk veteran too. Yeah, shoot. Um, but in this instance, I don't think Death Cap Berserker. Yeah. Yeah, maybe it could it could combo with our berserkers, and then it could be sort of pseudo removal. Mm -hmm. 
Test the simulator would be good. It's a little expensive though, if if we're in all these fives already. So maybe an aging knight wouldn't be terrible. I think this is my pick here. I mean, we could just stay mono growth. I think that's a weaker deck. I mean, I think that'll ultimately be a weaker deck, but we could just get super lucky. Yeah. The pest and the is good too. Uh, I think we'll take the death cap here. Just on the off chance that we get like another. Yeah. I, I, I kind of regret the death caps at this point. Okay. Anyway, moving on. That could just be a dead pick, though. Could have been a dead pick anyway. Um, Life Stealer is definitely the best in this line, but let's again start from the bo bottom. The Savage Sage I like. I don't know how good it is in draft, though. Um, Copper Automaton is nice because it's cheap and it's pretty decent removal because it can fairly often just hit. Um, transposition is fine. Um, nothing really. Spectacular about Golem skin. Kinfolk Veterans, the obvious pick here. Hmm. So I think it's. We could be in Decay as our second resource type, or we could be in Energy with this Tick Bomb. And maybe it's better to be more versatile with Tick Bomb. So at this point, we're not really hard up for creatures with four creatures. We need cheap creatures, though. It could be that this draft just tanks on us, so I'm I'm gonna stay flexible. I'm gonna take the life stealer. I think it's the best scroll in the in the set, and it could just be a dead pick. But I don't think I would take darkling over steel life stealer. I, I don't think. Uh, I mean, it's definitely easier to cast the darkling, but yeah, the set it could be it could be that I just cap out at five growth, uh, but we'll see. Vitriol or uh, I. I just don't see Vitriol Aura doing enough for us to force to sort of force a mono strategy. So let's go. I'm gonna regrettably take this Life Stealer. I'm gonna feel bad about it. I'm gonna think this Darkling's probably our best bet. Mm. Why don't I just do that? Yeah. Arg. Cause then I could do two is my yeah, oops, my line is here. Yeah, I think that maybe that's the line is do 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 okay. So we take Darkling, you know, because we, we're not hard up for big guys at this point. Three Berserkers. So, little dudes in another color. A fertile Soil, okay. <laughs> um, so we go Veteran here. Not a very tough pick. Ah, Vitality Wolf, Frost Scale. Vassar Sage. And you Wolf. Um, we'll take a second, Vas or we'll take a Vassar Sage here, just because there is the possibility of being Decay as our second resource. Um, that's all crap, cra not great. Um, fertile soil, I think is what we want, so we can outclass our opponent or outdraw our opponent. Noadi would be also probably be good in this situation, but just because of sort of the versatility. But I know ver fertile soil is a good one. I, I like playing it. Shroud of all my. So these are some not great picks here. Um, tether would recruit maybe if I want to do some crazy shenanigans. Mangy Wolf isn't the best, but it's a body. If we look at our creature count, we're pretty good. We're not too worried about missing out on the number of creatures. And I like Frost Gale. I think everybody knows that I like Frost Gale, especially with three Berserkers. So we'll play for, we'll pick up the Frost Gale. I'll be happy to have it. Um, Iron Bile. I guess we could go that way, or we could go. We still don't have a ton of decay to put us in that position. So maybe a Machine Priest. If we end up getting some decent structures, it could be good. It's definitely better than Beast Rat. We don't. I don't think we play Beast Rat. I don't think we play Elithorn either. Monstrous Brood 
could be good. Um, but it's a little pricey. I think if we're not playing Life Stealer, we're not playing Monstrous Brood. Hmm. Yeah, I think we'll go energy because of down here. I, I kind of like the idea of having Iron Whip. Um, I also, I, I guess I like Iron Iron Bile too, though. But I don't really like Monstrosity out of this. And then this is kind of a dead Trout of Unlife junkyard. Blood Bowl, Blood Bowl, yeah, Blood Bowl. Trying to play two, yeah, maybe. Uh, Machine Priest did this though. That was kind of a weird one. Waking Stones, I like less, I like Waking Stones less in this format because of the prevalence of say Tick Bomb, but I still think Waking Stones could be good, I guess, because, let's see, Ducal. We do have a line though where we go Energy here, we go Iron Whip, and then Gun Automaton. Tether Recruit is still decent though, not terrible. Um, Shroud of Unlife is kind of neat. A little bit of insurance protection. I like it over Junkyard. I like it over Blood Boil. Yeah. Let's see how many are we at? We're, at we're, we're on 12th pick. Maybe time to cut order out and just say we're not in order, but we really don't have to yet, I don't think. But let's see. Do, 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 do. Out of these three, this Gun Automaton or Ducal Infantryman, I think I'm tied with. Then out of these three, I guess a Woodland Memorial would help. That could, that could actually not be terrible. We could be in Decay or be in Order. There's a possibility we could be in Order, so let's take this Tethered Recruit. <laughs> let's Let's just be real weird here. Oh, a draining mist. But then also oh, a skirmisher. Oh. Let's go back and look at our decay. Let's see, our decay was one, two, three. Yeah. I think we go Woodland Memorial here. And we say energy is out because of sort of this. And then we have another memorial here that, oh wait, we're not taking that memorial. If we go order, we're taking skirmisher. So we'll say Woodland Memorial, and then that'll help us in the long run get to critical mass. Mm. If that's the case, then we'll say Infantryman. Mm. I don't like any of that stuff except for Destroyer, but I think we're firmly out of energy. You don't take Stone Pack Memorial over Ducal Skirmisher. Um, let's look at our stats again. I think our second color is now in, we're in competition between Order and Decay. Decay, we've got uh, a good set of two drops in Tether Recruit, well, in Sage and Darkling. And we stand to pick up another Darkling here. So right now we could we're potentially at we're potentially at say four dead four picks that are already dead. So we have eleven free ones to work with. Um, we'll take the skirmisher here, and then crossbowman. I think gets the nod in this stack. Maybe thought trap or power bomb. I, I say this is just a dead pick. I don't think that's gonna any of these are gonna factor in except for the destroyer, which we're just we're out of energy at this point. I think, except for yeah, we're out of energy at this point. We go loyal darkling here. A flip isn't terrible. Grizzly graft is the sacrifice adjacent. Yeah, siege cracker. Flips flips sort of good removal. Sort of. Yeah, this is just a dead pick. 
we will take Thought Trap just in case, but that's a, that's pretty much a dead pick. Storm Runner. Um, Sandiers could be good, but I think we go for Crossbowman here. Sisters of the Barrel will be nice. Uh, yeah, I feel like Flip is better removal sort of tricks. Another Mangy Wolf, a Stagheart, huh? Mangy Wolf or Stagheart could be good. We're gonna go Sisters of the Bear. Oh yeah, this is a curse. I don't play Elothorn. I'm fairly certain you don't. You just don't play Elothorn. So we'll take the Storm Runner in case things go crazy. Sisters of the Fox, I'll be happy to get. I see no wolves, wolves, or almost halfway there. Sisters of the Bears are our for sure pick. Kinfolk Veteran is our other sure. So Kinfolk Veteran, Sisters of the Fox. Let me say Stagheart maybe. Stagheart or Mangy Wolf. I wish these were toggles. I wish I could toggle on and off. So I could say all and then I could turn off decay. Okay, anyway. Um, um, since I haven't seen a lot of wolves yet, except for the one that I passed, I think I might go Stagheart. Just because it's kind of underwhelming at, at four. But at the same time, I'm I don't like giving people value by me playing enchantments and then losing the dudes. This is definitely our line that we go veteran, sisters of the fox, and then one of these two. Um, I'm gonna go for the well. Let's look at our curve. Creatures. I think we have a lot of twos. Not that you cast stag hard at two, but. I'm gonna go for the four, just to have something bigger to do. Oh, nice. Um, so then we go Sisters of the Fox. Now uh, we can take out Kenfolk Ranger. Wing Shields will be nice. Wing so so we go Veteran. And then we say, oh, Stag, double Stag Heart. No, we could have had double Stag Heart. So we can sort of count down. We'll probably take the Stag Heart because these two aren't great, and then this one's situational. Um, Wing Shields gets the nod. Um, it's more cost effective than. I, I think getting up to four will probably be tougher. Um, and Wing Shields just good. Evader will be nice to have as sort of tricks. And just getting me to my fives. And Eye of Eagle, I'll take that. We'll take the Stag Heart here. We could take another Woodland Memorial. That would help me get to five more consistently. Or I could take Grave Hawk. Which is a fine, fine modern gentleman gal. I don't know what's wrong with me. Sorry. All right, Vader. Um, oh, Stone Pact. Or this is a, this is probably going to be the most interesting pick here. So we'll wait to make that pick. Um, I think I go bodies over. I think I like Eye of the Eagle over Stone Pact Memorial. But I think the actual question here is whether I like. Kinfolk Ranger over Eye of the Eagle. So one of these, I could take one of these Stone Pack Memorials. I don't think I'd take both because I'm already at two Stone, two Memorials. One Woodland Oh no, am I only at one Woodland Memorial? I think I'm only at one Woodland Memorial. Okay. But I have a Vader, that's nice. Okay, so I have one Woodland, which is a, this guy, um, which maybe we'll grab him. But a Stone Pack would be nice. So I think I, I'll take one of these Stone Packs. I don't know, maybe Ranger's good though. Yeah. We'll say Eye of the Eagle because it can get us good stuff over, say, Kinfolk Ranger. And then we'll take this Memorial. We'll say that. But we'll probably end up taking the ranger anyway. Well, bear paw, I think I'm fine with. New Orders is interesting. 
It's one of these two. <laughs> this could be good, but I think there are, maybe one of each is probably fine. Actually, I don't, I don't know how to play Gravehawk though. Yeah, I think I go Woodland. One of the things you gotta watch out for though is deck consistency though. Is like at some point you you're gonna start drawing the stuff again. So if you have more than like three or four memorials in your deck, you're gonna see a bunch of them over and over again. And so they're not great after. But Gravehawk doesn't really have a lot of like end game value either. So in the early game, I think I'll give it to Woodland Memorial. A Kabonk will be nice to have. Um, bear paw. I think I am gonna let the stone pack memorial go since I took since I'm on three memorials already. Um, I'll take a kinfolk ranger. At least probably. No, yeah, he's fine. And then the bear paw will come down. Uh, ooh, interesting. The decimation on waking stones. This is whether or not we want to be aggressive or defensive. So we'll get to that decision here in a moment. Can Kabonk is gonna be our pick in this row. And then I think Bear Paul will be fine to have. There's a dead pick. Kabonk will snag. Oh, awesome. Um another skirmisher. I think I like decimation here. Waking Stone's not is nice at buying me time, but I think I think Decimation gives me range that I don't get otherwise, or that I, that's hard to pick up on other other places in growth and uh, order. And by range, I mean it allows me to snipe idols, like idols that I should have no business being able to take down. It gives me sort of an inevitability strategy. So if the game goes long enough, ideally I have some sort of plan. Oh nice, a wing soldier. Ducal will be nice. Here's just a dead pick. We'll pick up a automaton just in case. Another fertile soil will be nice. Um, Ducal skirmisher, this will be good. Wing soldier, eye of eagle. I like this, eye of eagle, fertile soil, wing soldier. So another Eye of Eagle, but a Ducal Skirmisher maybe again. I'm kind of wishing I had another Stone Pact. Well, that's interesting. We'll take the Vitality Well, keep my guys alive. Take the Eye of the Eagle here. A Wings Captain will be nice. Okay, so because uh, I have Wings Captain, I think we go for the Ducal Skirmisher cost-wise. Let's see. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I just wish we could hide those. Um, cost wise, maybe it's better to have Eye of Eagle here. Let's say Wings Captain. Let's see. How many fours do we have? I can't really tell how many blue fours or order fours we have. Order fours. We've got one. One order four, two order four. I only have two order fours. So we can make it worth getting up to four in order. So we'll go skirmisher. We'll take the vitality well here. Um, this will be a kinfolk ranger. We take the wings captain for sure. Take a dead pick. Uh, we'll take a tribesman, sure, and then we'll go for the Kimball Granger. So let's build it. Okay, building the deck. Building. Oh no, building the deck. Cost sort. Uh, let's start with our bombs. Uh, two veterans. This is nice that we didn't max out anything higher than five. I don't think Mangy Wolf makes it in. Double fertile <laughs> soil. Triple, yes, yes. Two of these seems good because we'll probably go order early. Um, three rangers, I think fine. 
That's fine. That's fine. Take this guy. This guy. These guys. This guy. Cost sort. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So almost half of the deck is order. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, twelve minus twenty-nine is seventeen. So seventeen growth scrolls with with a lot of top end there. I'm very glad I have two woodland memorials now. I'm kind of bummed I for I goofed on the. I definitely goofed on getting. Um, the stone pack memorial. I think having three. Sorry, breaking stuff. Uh, having three kinfolk rangers is now less exciting than say having an additional memorial. Um, creature wise, we're at twenty, so I'm not super concerned about getting creatures. I might take vitality well as my last. So we're looking at our final pick. I think I might take vitality well just because I have a big team and it's good. To keep it helps keep your big guys alive. Um, Static Heart doesn't make it. Bear Paw, I don't think, makes it. So it's either like Flip or. Uh, I think we go Vitality Wall. It's just. It's it's a fine fine back end. I've got a Frost Scale. I, I've got a Decimation that I probably doesn't factor into the Vitality Wall equation. But. Okay. I think that's good. Let's go ahead and save it. Call it. Growth order, save, perfect, great work. All right guys, we'll see you in the next one where we play game, until then.